Okay, today what I'm going to teach you how to do is to extract a micromotor out of this Oral-B Pulse electric toothbrush. Now, these are not too expensive. They're probably like five, six bucks retail. And uh, it's basically, you know, a little electric toothbrush that has a motor in it that spins and causes the bristles to vibrate. And that's supposed to help clean your teeth. Uh, I'm not going to get into whether or not that's a really feasible way to do it, but needless to say, these have little micro motors in them, the kind that you would find in a pager, that can be extracted and reused in whatever project you have that you could use for a, uh, a micro motor. So, basically, what you need to do is once you've expended the life of the toothbrush, is basically take this end cap off and sometimes it's a little hard to get open um, I usually find rinsing it under hot water and then maybe giving it a few taps on something solid and hard will help you get it open there is some sort of glue or adhesive they do use on these end caps here after you have unscrewed the cap toss that aside you'll see that the battery is thoroughly visible and that it has a little clip on the end that you can bend fully open and remove the battery out. You can put that aside for right now and then what you're going to want to do is strip off all the rubber accents that are on the toothbrush. There's a rubber that usually covers this surface here and this surface here and that will allow you to see the inner workings somewhat of what we need to remove from this device in order to get the micromotor out. Now, there is a little clip right in here that you will need a small tool such as a micro screwdriver or a small pair of scissors to press into that and release those clips so that you can pull out the plastic mechanism that holds the inner workings of the micromotor and the switch carefully do that because you don't want to hurt yourself go ahead dig in there a little bit more it's not gonna hurt because basically the motor is protected a little bit <clears throat> by an inner plastic sleeve and basically you want to sort of get in there a little bit and force the motor down enough so that you can pull it out and um, this is also a little thing where you have to be careful because this portion here can cut your fingers if you're not careful. Okay, once you've done that, you can just go ahead and pull that entire mechanism out, discard this part because you will no longer need it, and now you have the inner plastic mechanism where the motor is held. As you can see right here, this is the motor. It has a weight on the end to help it create that vibrating motion. What you're going to want to do is with either a pair of scissors or wire cutters is just go ahead and cut the positive lead and you can pull this strip of metal out a little bit more until it comes completely free. This right here is the switch that is usually covered with rubber. You can discard that and that will open up the area so that you can see the negative lead right in here. Go ahead with your wire cutters or your scissors and cut right at the edge of that where it connects. And then with a little pressure and force you can pull out the motor freeing it from that entire assembly and now you have your micro motor free to do whatever you want to do with it. Now, this weight on the end is extremely tough to get off. I have not gotten one off successively. I'm going to try to experiment with some ways to get that off, and once I have found a way to get it off without destroying the motor, because you can essentially destroy the motor by trying to pull it off, uh, I will come back and make a video of that. Alright, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that.